What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with a pack opening today. Um, it has been a long time since I've opened any sealed Magic the Gathering product. Um, you know, I don't play standard, and I have just preferred to be spending my money on foil singles for my cube as opposed to any type of sealed product. Um, I think the last thing I opened was a just a fat pack of um, cons when that came out, and then before that was a fat pack of uh, 2015. So anyways, um, today I've got four packs of 8th edition core set and two of these 15-card um, foil repacks. Um, core set, these, these core set packs were only uh, $4.50, and the foil repacks were 5 bucks each. All this coming from ABU Games. I typically do not ever, I've, well, in fact, I've never shopped from ABU before. I just think that they are really overpriced. Everything I can get is always cheaper um, on TCG and, and anywhere else, really. Um, however, um, the promo natural order has really been fluctuating amongst various vendors um, and spiked pretty hard amongst some of them. And uh, I didn't want to take a chance any longer, and so ABU ended up having the best price on that natural order, um, and so I was like, well, I might as well go ahead and buy the natural order. It was like $130, and ABU had a uh, thing where it says free shipping if you spend $150, so I was like, yeah, screw it. I might as well pick up some packs open on the channel, and uh, the thing with the 8th edition is um, it is the very last um, pack that I opened before quitting Magic. I only bought one pack of 8th edition uh, before I left the game, uh, just for funsies, uh, and then I was, you know, off to the army and everything, um, and then didn't come back till M12. So, uh, a lot of cool, fond memories. Um, for those that are unfamiliar, 8th edition, I believe, is when they went to the new border style for the card, um, and so that's why there's a big price difference um, between 7th edition and 8th edition foils. Um, in particular, um, an example is Birds of Paradise. It's the exact same artwork, but um, the 7th edition foil birds is like 150 retail, and the 8th edition birds is only like 60. Uh, so that's a $90 difference just for the old border versus the new border. So, um, to be honest, there's not a whole lot that I'm after. Um, there's nothing that I'm after in terms of the non-foils. There's some good cards like Blood Moon and Snaring Bridge, stuff like that, but... Um, I would definitely be happy to pull some of the, uh, the cool foils like Wrath of God, Birds of Paradise, um, even Grave Pact. I already have the Grave Pact, um, but it wouldn't be bad to get another one. I think that's the most expensive card um, in 8th edition right now. So, this will bring back some good old memories. So we're going to crack into some of this. Uh, I don't know. It's been a while, so we might as well go through, go through this. Uh, some Minotaur. Coral Eel, yeah! This was, I remember this from Portal. Woo! 2-1 Eel. Get there. There's a Fertile Ground, Dark Banishing, Venerable Monk, Raised Dead. Oh my gosh, these are all such classic cards. <laughs> the Craw Worm, Index, Ridgeline Rager. Um, first Uncommon is Demolish. I'm trying to remember, I think the, uh, because I only opened one pack of 8th edition, I remember it, it was a, uh, a red mass destruction, I think the card's name was Obliterate, I'm hoping just not to pull that, I just want some different stuff, uh, we got Wing Snare, Circle of Protection Black, and, ooh, oh, so it's an Intrepid Hero, but I think we have a foil, because the, uh, foils are still, yeah, the black border here, foil, Grizzly Bears, <laughs> All right, the foil grizzly bears. So that's sick, getting a foil. Uh, but you guys can see the new style border. Uh, but Intrepid Hero is our rare. That's pretty solid. He's a 1-1. One, one. You tap, destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. Uh, he's pretty useful in, um, like, Commander. All right, let's go ahead. We'll get to the second pack, and then we're going to take a look at this ABU repack of foils, um, which I have, I have no idea what's even possible to get from that. I just... You know, I love foils, so I was like, yeah, sure, let's give that a shot. All right, Volcanic Hammer, Merchant, Spined Worm. Got a Dusk Imp, Master Decoy, Stone Rain, Classic Land Destruction, Mind Rot, been reprinted everywhere. Elvish Pioneer, a Sea Monster, Reflexes, 
First, uh, Uncommon Thieving Magpie. I actually like this card a lot. It's a potential cube um, playable. Bog Wraith, Goblin Glider, and our rare is Worship. One white, three colorless enchantment. If you control a creature, damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. All right, cool. And let's throw that over there. All right, so ABU repacks. I have no idea what's in here. The uh, the thing said, uh, let's see, what? 15 cards in here. It's set up like a normal booster pack. One rare foil, three uncommon foils, and... Um, however many common foils. Um, any can be any set and any type of condition. Oh, and that starts off our, <laughs> our rare. All right, so we've got some foreign stuff. Uh, what is this guy? Is this like the Samite Healer or something? Foreign ninth edition. Another foreign card, eighth edition. And this sucks because I do not like foreigns. This is not all foreign, is it? I didn't order the, an all-foil, or foreign, did I? I might have. Ugh. Hopefully that's not the case. I don't know. Maybe I didn't read it good enough, but this all... <laughs> I don't know, like, any of these cards as far as foreigns go. Holy Strength. There we go. I know that one. Um, I don't know what's going on with the, uh, the old camera. Not focusing, but there. Holy Strength there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like a G2 Fire or something. Dryad Nymph or some kind of forest walk. Um, da, da, da. So, and then this is, I believe, a Callous Giant from Invasion. Because I remember cracking this open when I was a kid. But um, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to have to go back and see what I ordered. If it was all foils or just all foil foreigns. Um, alright, so I'm just going to open this one now, because if it is foreign cards, I'm just going to be kind of bummed. They were five bucks each. I mean, it's not like the, the end of the world, but, um, it is all foreign. Yeah, I'll have to go back. That's a bummer, because I don't like foreign cards. So I guess these will be extras if I ever trade. Um, so here we go, just running through some of this. I don't really recognize any of it. Cinder wall, I think. Oh, that's um uh flame burst, I think. And there and <laughs> I have no idea. What is that Russian maybe? Might be Russian. But yeah, alright, so boom, there's the foils. That was kind of a waste of money. I'm a little disappointed in that, but Live and learn. I'll have to go back and see what, if it actually specified foreign. Because they were all foreign, I didn't, and I did not want foreign. But anyways, let's get into these next two packs, see what we can crack open. Alright, Nantuku, Disciple, Ravenous Rats, Glory Seeker, Shock Troops, Inspiration, a Giant Growth, cool. Monstrous Growth, nice. Horn Turtle, a Sizzle, Standing Troops. Confiscate, Swarm of Rats, it's kind of cool, and, I, ooh, yeah, sweet. All right, so that's a Plague Wind, and we've got a Foil Uncommon. Uh, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head would be a Foil Choke would be sweet. Foil Choke Uncommon, I think, is like a $20 card. It is, ah, that's kind of cool. Foil Coastal Tower. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because uh, it's basically just a Guild Gate. <laughs> But uh, that's kind of cool. Two foils out of these packs. All right, last one, guys. That's a uh, Razorfoot Griffin. Shock. And Unsummon. Loved Unsummon growing up. Trained Armadon. Gravedigger. Cinderwall. Hey, I think I was right on that one. Holy Day. Plague Beetle. Lone Wolf. Loved that card growing up. Flash Counter. Wall of Air. That was sweet, too. Uh, Elfham Palace. And Sever Soul. No foil. Our rare is... Come on, be something cool. Phyrexian Plague Lord. Two black, three colorless, four, four. Tap and sacrifice and target features minus four, minus four. Or sack a creature targets minus one, minus one. Uh, so not the greatest of packs, but uh, still a lot of fun uh, cracking open some older stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all later.